The global food industry is a vast, highly complex operation. Our next story gives us food for thought. High production processing lines have forever changed the concept of a home meal. Without pre-portioned, packaged, cooked foods, families would still be spending two to three hours a day preparing dinner. Going forward, the food industry will be required to develop and innovate new high-speed production lines to keep up with the world's growing population. Our goal at FPEC is to provide manufacture automated controls that will help them do this in the future. The Food Processing Equipment Company, or FPEC, manufactures food processing equipment for poultry, red meat, and pet food. Founded in 1959, the company originally operated out of a metal shack in a lumberyard before moving to Vernon, California to be closer to the meatpacking industry. In the early days, FPEC was a small four-man welding shop that provided conveyors, tables, and sheet metal and machine repair for the local meat industry in Los Angeles, California. Shortly after, FPEC started creating custom designs and specialized machinery, as well as custom conveying systems. Before long, the company was taking orders from out of state. But just as it began to experience success, FPEC's growth slowed with the passing of company founder John Davison in 1974. Well, at the age of 16, Alan began working at FPEC's shop before going on to get his degree in industrial arts. I think that this working knowledge of the company helped Alan develop a vision of future growth and improvement. Early in his tenure, Alan realized that the meat industry was going through major changes. In 1979, FPEC began designing and manufacturing larger, more sophisticated systems for ground beef, sausage, and ham moving into an 18,000-square-foot facility in Santa Fe Springs. By the mid-80s, FPC was producing equipment for the up-and-coming poultry processing industry, which was transitioning from whole ice pack birds to high-speed processing systems to produce patties, nuggets, and boneless marinated chicken. These new opportunities uh, allowed FPC to design and manufacture new equipment for a very demanding new market. In 1985, FPEC built its first vacuum marinator, a dramatic improvement over existing processes, and sold the innovative design to Tyson Foods. FPEC designs, manufactures equipment and controls that are capable of producing hamburger and hamburger patties at up to 40,000 pounds an hour. With these systems, the customer can track his production rates in real time, track raw material travel and machinery efficiencies. Well, with an expanding market and the need for high-quality food processing equipment, in 1990, FPC built a 12,000-square-foot manufacturing facility in Springdale, Arkansas. With this facility in the center of the country, it allowed FPC to better serve the poultry, beef, pork, and pet food industries. Uh, later on, we continued to expand the Springdale facility to 80,000 square feet uh, and a total of three buildings. Today. FPEC offers over 70 products, including mixers, grinders, vacuum marinators, a complete line of material handling equipment, and controls systems. One of the company's most popular items, vacuum tumblers, are equipped with programmable touchscreen controls that allow users to adjust process parameters. FPEC's vacuum metering system automatically meters and transfers products with pinpoint accuracy. A consistent and constant flow optimizes cooking and freezing lines, while vacuum transferring decreases product purges and increases yields. Moving forward, FPEC is looking at increasing automation. Existing lines are already being retrofitted with central point of control, data gathering, production rates, and yields. For over 50 years as a family-owned second-generation business, FPC has built a reputation on uncompromised service and service when you need it.